So now in this video, I thought we would test out the reverse breakdown voltage of an LED right there. So we will zoom in and take a closer look. So one of these LEDs is forward bias, the uh, top one here. And you can see the long lead, the anodes going to where the red jumper is, short lead, the cathode going down one row. And then we grab this one, you can see the wiring is the opposite. So the short lead, the cathode, is going to connect to the cathode of that one towards the more positive side of the power supply. The long lead, the anode, is going to go to the same row as that blue jumper right there. And uh, so this one is reverse bias, that one is forward bias. And we will zoom back here and we are going to start raising the voltage. I'll zoom back so you can see what buttons I'm pushing there. So I'm going to hit set and we go up there. I can hit set again. We could look at the uh, voltage there. And I have the current limited to 10 milliamps of current. I gotta hit that. We could go over and uh, make it even lower if we wanted to. But I'm going to uh, use 10 milliamps for uh, whatever reason. So, I already know. It's more than 10 volts and it's more than 20 volts. So, now we're going to come back and... Uh, change this to the amp setting and go back there and work our way up so again I know 27 volts 27.3 volts still you don't see anything lit up you don't see any current being displayed on there we go up one more volt now you see the red LED comes on and we got somewhere around 3 milliamps of uh, current flowing through both of the LEDs because they are in series the one that's reverse bias is not lighting up. It has current going through it backwards. The one that is forward bias is lit up. It's letting current go through it. And so, we could also uh, just go, no, we're not, we're not gonna do that right now. Yeah, we're limited 10 milliamps of current. Let's uh, just pop that out and go here. And we just fried that LED right there. So, we didn't limit the current. Yeah, we fried that LED. So, let me grab a new one. Alright, I got a new LED on there. So, I got a little overconfident on the uh, current uh, setting there. Let's uh, now take a look at the voltages involved. So, remember, 28.3. We could even zoom back a little bit more. And we can turn the power off to the uh, load. So, the output is off. This unit you have to unplug, so you just plug that directly into the outlet, that wire. It does the rest in there. And you can turn the output off. So we're going to turn the output back on now. And you saw current was higher to begin with, and it looks like it goes down over time. And so that's another thing we can look at coming up. Let's take our voltage reading. So first we're going to take the voltage across both LEDs. They connect directly to where those jumpers are. And we got that basically 28.3, but it's a little bit lower. That's probably because there's a little resistance in the wires and stuff. So we're getting a little bit of voltage drop. Let's go across the LED that's lit up. And no surprise, looks like it's about 1.8 volts. Once I have a good connection, about there. And uh, so, 28.3 minus about 2 volts. To make the math easy, we'll get about 26.3 on here in that range. So there we go, 26.3, a little bit more than 26.3 across that LED. So that's about what it takes for the uh, reverse bias LED to start conducting. Somewhere about 26 volts in that range. And we can go here and we can start lowering the voltage uh, one tenth of a volt at a time and you notice the LED is getting dimmer right there so less current is flowing and less than one milliamp but it's still glowing a bit right there so so yeah let's uh it's it's about at that point where it starts uh, conducting now you can see we got about 26 volts across it as less current flows through that LED its uh, voltage drop once I get a good connection, it goes down a little bit too. 
as uh, less current is flowing through it, it's blocking a little less voltage. So, uh, not a lot less. It's uh, pretty much still about 1.8, but it goes down a little bit with the uh, current uh, going down. So now we will go back up to uh, 28.3. And so we have, uh, looks like 3 milliamps of current right there. I'm going to unplug this jumper here and let them cool down a little bit. We're going to set the uh, meter here to measure milliamps of current to take take a look at the current flowing through. We know it's in milliamps. It's uh, That LED didn't burn out. If it was like hundreds of milliamps it would have burnt out uh, right away. And so we know we're in the milliamps plus it says milliamps on there. Get that connected. In fact let's Let's hold this one first, right there. Now, we'll measure the uh, current directly. And yeah, it looks like five milliamps and then quickly drops down as they warm up. That's kind of interesting. And uh, I didn't have a good connection, there you go. So five, four, and it looks like it's going down a little bit. And uh, three, and I'm not sure how much farther down it's gonna go. I'm not gonna do this uh, forever. But uh, in any case, there you can see, it went down. It looks like the current on there is pretty accurate. So I wasn't sure. When you have something in the amp range and you're down to uh, one thousandths of an amp, you know, you figure it's probably not going to be terribly accurate. But it looks like this one's doing pretty good right there. So in any case, I thought this was a uh, fun test right there. Let's uh, try... A different LED and see if we get the same result different LED reverse bias so now I got another LED before I do anything I'm going to lower the uh, voltage to uh, 20 volts right there I think that's a good starting point and we will pluck uh, this one remember this one is reverse bias right there and we're going to uh, reverse bias this one And there we go. That one is reverse bias. They are not lit. And let's start raising the voltage. It's kind of interesting that it looked like that started. And there we go. We had to go a volt higher. So that's kind of interesting right there. And five, now it's four milliamps of uh, current. So maybe it's doing about the same, but a volt higher. So. In any case, I find that interesting. So, apparently they're off a little bit on their reverse bias uh, voltage, their breakdown voltage, I should say. And uh, so, in any case, that's it for this experiment. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.